गुड इवनिंग गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर शैशव शाह आई कम फ्रॉम बड़ोडा गुजरात डॉक्टर आनंद कवि वेरी वेल जस्टिफाइड द टेक्निक आई हैव नॉट मच टू डिस्क्राइब फॉर द टेक्निक बट देर आर फ्यू वेज टू टैकल फ्यू डिफरेंट पैथोलॉजीज सो आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट पैरास्पाइनल यू बी ई दैट इज अ मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ विल्स अप्रोच विच वी आर वेरी वेल फेमिलियर विथ एंड अ सब लेमिनार यू बी ई विच इज कॉन्ट्रल एटल approach for the pathology discernish to be precise so uh, the objective uh, uh, i think uh, this is all very well uh, described by dr anand kavi uh, for this technique i think there are few things which we need to know i mean, I mean applied anatomy which is not uh, different for this approach which we are all trained for the posterior approach uh, we can tackle different kinds of disc herniations and the complications rates are much much lesser with uh, the this uh, interlaminar endoscopy by portal so we all know we we, we all in ultimately reach the success i think we all reach the success but the uh, bleeding which we uh, go through uh, it is to be seen i mean uh, the curve is definitely there uh, it is lesser than uh, the uh, other endoscopic uh, techniques psld to be precise uh, it is much more cost effective as dr anand kavi said so i uh, personally speaking there are few things which we uh, need to see before coming to the approach uh, in in biportal endoscopic discectomy there are three, uh, two three things which we need to see is uh, for especially for the initial cases is uh, do appropriate bony work before doing the phlebectomy we generally do lesser than uh, what we uh, Uh, generally almost every time we do lesser work bony work than what is required always do more bony work before starting phlebectomy so that we no, do not have to take the bar in hands once the dura is open and bleeding control is the uh, is precisely what is required it is the uh, utmost importance uh, to uh, have a good surgical outcome as well as to be uh, precise in your in your technique uh, i'll just show you the bleeders they are generally at the 5 uh, o'clock 6 o'clock and 7 o'clock uh if you can visualize the bleeders you can definitely tackle it off but uh, if you are blind enough and uh, we don't know where the bleeder bleeding comes then you can directly coagulate uh, at blindly at 5 6 and 7 most mostly 90% of the cases th these bleeders uh, uh, hamper our uh, this thing procedure this those were the superficial bleeders and once we have uh, we have opened up the flavum uh, we all know epidural vessels these are the epidural bleeders over the disc Uh, that uh, one should definitely the advantage of biportal endoscopy is you preemptively coagulate these epidural vessels before you do start your discectomy so you uh, it is not like, like open surgery that you see the bleeder there uh, you you coagulate with the bipolar you already have your wand uh, radio frequency wand in your hand you coagulate the uh, preemptively those vessels and then start a discectomy so the scope has increased for the for the endoscope we can almost tackle uh, almost every pathology of discectomy uh, through this technique the portals were very well uh, described by dr anand kavi this is the technique i'll uh, directly come on to the, uh, uh, the so sublaminar approach so for sublaminar approach we need to uh, see we need to know the anatomy of upper lumbar spine sublaminar approach is precisely more important for uh, upper lumbar uh, pathologies upper lumbar discectomies my uh, very good uh, colleague friends were uh, will will definitely do it off with transforaminal technique but i think by portal has, has its own way uh, to tackle of this uh, up, upper lumbar spinal uh, disc herniations so the we all know that the, the uh, lamina is quite narrow at, in the upper lumbar uh, uh, region so the disc herniations need to uh, to tackle those uh, disc herniations we used to fuse those those pathologies when we uh, ta tackle these pathologies uh, with open surgeries but the facets are quite vertical so the chances of iatrogenic instability is quite high the disc space is quite distant from the interlaminar space as we can see here so the bony work required is quite more this is the disc disc level of the uh, disc level compared with the interlaminar window that we start off with so the disc pathology considering this uh, you can see in the image uh, quite very well depicted uh, a disc herniation there uh, in, in a, that with the translaminar approach we are very well to uh, damage the facet or the pars in upper lumbar regions so rather going contralateral is quite easier it quite is quite uh, safer and we can get away with the fusion surgery so this is what uh, the ct scan uh, uh, shows the fa facetal violation is quite less when we go to contralateral then ipsilateral but that is not always the case 
in uh, you can see it is not possible sometimes in alpha s1 for posterior central disc herniation it is definitely possible with l3 l4 disc herniation so the retraction is much more in alpha s1 this is not possible uh, always with lower lumbar levels it is possible with the upper lumbar levels so this is the way and this is just a short video i'll uh, do it quite uh, this thing so this this was the upper lumbar pathology disc herniation we do the same thing the only thing is contralateral bony work is to be done more uh, with uh, ube you can see three nerves ipsilateral traversing contralateral exiting and contralateral traversing you cannot see the ips ipsilateral exiting root without removing the, removing the facet so three three root decompression can be achieved with uh, biportal endoscopy without violating the facets so yeah, we are uh, this is a f i'll just skip it forward so this is contralateral disectomy from the axilla of the exiting root yeah you can see the disc fragment there yeah so this is the picture final picture you can see the the pathology here we need to tackle both the things central herniation and central stenosis there are three pathologies central disc herniation and central stenosis and uh, extra foraminal disc herniation on the right side so all the three things were tackled from uh, this approach so i i i freed three uh, nerve roots you can uh, see the l4 root here you can see the l5 traversing root here and you will be very well able to see i mean there is fat over here but you will very well able to see the traversing root on the left side as well dr shah we will have to hurry up yeah i'll be quick so uh, two th no, one more thing i mean I, i've been asked very much for right sided disc herniations for biportal endoscopy i'm not given the topic but i'll just want want to have this thing i do it from the left side i don't find it very difficult from the left side uh, i can just the inclination of the portals change from left side i do it do is do, do it this way from uh, for right side i just change my inclination uh doesn't make make much of the difference it doesn't make uh, i don't have to change my portal i don't have to change my uh, orientation i don't find it difficult you can definitely do it from the right side as well but uh, one more thing paraspinal ub i've been given this topic for uh, for uh, uh, biportal endoscopy uh, paraspinal can definitely be very well addressed transforaminally but for alpha s1 uh, sometimes it is difficult for uh, especially for the bertel lotti syndrome what we what we know so the, uh, i'll just uh, show the technique uh, we uh, dock the you know, two portals on the sap uh, this we, we need to know the safe zone we'll have to hurry up sir yeah the other two speakers to so speak. this is the extra foraminal disc herniation and this is the uh, sc uh, scopic view you can see the uh, transverse process here the sap was drilled <coughs> just one thing that i would like to mention is there is a foraminal ligament below the uh, ab above the root there so you need to uh, take out this uh, uh, this foraminal ligament generally we, we are quite cautious about because the ganglion is there so uh, using the rf uh, hook hook rf is much uh, more comfortable and much more safer over here and you can uh, dissect this uh, foraminal ligament easily with the hook rf thank you